Today's video is gonna be about a case study that we did. We just closed on this a few days ago and we made $35,000 on the profit selling this deal. Now, this is a unique deal because we didn't just buy it, fix it up and sell it. We actually bought this property about two years ago, maybe about two and a half years ago, and we used the Burr strategy when we bought it. So we bought it, we fixed it up and rehabbed it. We rented it out, we took it to a bank, and we refinanced all of the money that we had invested to purchase it and fix it up. We used a private lender actually. So we were able to borrow the money to buy it, fix it up, get it rented, uh, refinance it and pay back that lender in full. And we had a rental property added to our books with zero of our own money. Now we held this property for about two to two and a half years and rented it out. And then one of the tenants moved out and we realized that the values in this neighborhood really, really, really went up. So we said, Hey, let's just put it on the market. Uh, we did a little bit of work to get it to get it uh, to be ready to be sold, but very, very, very few um, repairs that were needed. And then we listed it and we sold it and we made 35 grand on this deal. So it's kind of unique because we use the Burr strategy. We got the property basically for free, okay? And then we rented it out and made cash flow on the property for about two and a half years. And then we sold the property and made $35,000. Yes, this is entirely possible. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Collier case study. That's the address of this property. And we're going to show you guys all the ins and outs of what we did to make this deal work. Let's do it. If you don't have any money or anything to bring to the table, then ask them what you can do. I have investments and assets that pay me enough money that it covers all of my expenses. Network, network, network bought this property back on 1227 2017 okay today is april 20th 2020 so we've owned this property for a couple of years now i'm going to drop in the corner or in the screen right now a picture of the property when we bought it and again we bought this on 1227 2017 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a picture of the settlement statement. So when we bought this property, this was the settlement statement here. And you'll notice in the middle, we have a contract sales price of $65,500. However, total paid for or from the borrower is 75 grand. So what that means is that we borrowed an extra $8,435.72 to rehab this property. So now what I want to do is I want to show you guys the before pictures of what it looked like when we bought it for 65 grand and got another 8,500 essentially from our private lender to fix it up. Let's do it. Here we are, 2250 Collier, the original photos when we bought this house. Look at the mold up here. This is the basement, old fixtures, wood paneling. The kitchen looked just dated, old cabinets um everything was just dated light fixtures vanity uh the flooring the old tub um it needs paint it needs it needs a lot of work right it had carpet on the steps um it didn't need any major system work but the the the, the fuse box is actually fuses not breakers so we wanted to put a breaker box in so we did that as well the exterior of the house really wasn't that terrible so this is what the house looked like when we bought it and we basically had put together a proposal of the work that we wanted to do and what we did is we rehabbed the home um, and we spent a little bit more than the 8,500 that we had budgeted for and that we had got from our investor, but it wasn't much. I think we are maybe out of pocket around maybe an additional two or three grand, right? So when this was all said and done and we refinanced it, uh, we basically had about two grand in the property. So I misspoke saying it was free, but come on, it's pretty close. So we rehabbed the property. Here's after the rehab. You'll notice we took the carpet off the steps. 
we redid all these floors. We painted everything. We put in a new kitchen. Look at the countertops and the cabinets. Those look really nice. New vanity in the bathroom, new light fixtures. Those floors look awesome. Uh, we typically stick to gray walls and white trim. It just makes for a really clean look. We did a little bit of carpet in the basement. Um, we glazed the tile in the bathrooms and kept the tubs. So it just makes, it gets rid of that old green, that old paint color that was in there prior. Um, and then we fixed the ceiling, painted over it with some kills. I don't think we did all that much on the outside of this property. So right here, uh, this right here was the after rehabbed look of the property. Now we went and we rented the property out for $1,100 a month for about two and a half years. And we collected cash flow on this property the entire time. Then what we did is we staged the property and I actually dug up a video of me, Mike and Bill, my two partners, staging the home. And I think that the staging furniture had bugs in it or something crazy like that. So we're all wearing these funny suits. Let's watch this video real quick of us walking through it. Now this is us after we purchased it, rehabbed it, rented it for two and a half years. Now we're staging it, getting it ready to sell. Take a look. 250 Collier. This is one of our rental properties that we, uh, we purchased using the Burr method. So we purchased the property, we did a light rehab for rental. Uh, we've had two tenants in it, and now we are uh, kind of fluffing it up and selling it retail because the market is hot right now. So you wanna take a quick tour. We are in the family room right now, which opens up to a nice kitchen. When we initially bought this property, we had, um, we didn't do much with the flooring. So again, we had to kind of fluff something up. We put this uh, vinyl down up here. Uh, see the kitchen, uh, very simple uh, kitchen. So the less cabinets, the less expensive. So again, it's a pretty big open kitchen. We could have done something a little bit bigger with the island, but again, this was initially done for a rental. So again, we were trying to save money and we're not gonna put a ton of money in it to uh, get that uh, to capitalize on the, the market right now. Because again, we just don't have to. We just need to clean it up and get it listed. We're gonna make the most of this property. Come with me, you'll see the bedrooms in the back. So we've got a Jack and Jill style bathroom, which means that it opens up to one of the bedrooms, uh, which is actually the master. <coughs> so back here, we've got the master bedroom, a couple of closets, one on each side. And there's a door over this way, which then opens up into that Jack and Jill style bathroom. Follow me this way. You can see we've got two additional bedrooms. So this is uh, right now just a three bedroom, one bath property. But this is what's really cool about this kind of house. So this is called a split level, where when you walk in, you're either going up or down. So let's check out what's underneath us. All right, guys, so down here we are in a giant room which could be used as a bedroom because we've got these windows that are egress, which means that someone can't actually climb out of it. So, again, this counts as a bedroom. We've got a closet, we've got egress windows, so we've got a giant bedroom down here, which is awesome. In addition, we've got a huge extra living space. So upstairs you've got the kitchen, the dining area, the, the living space. Down here you've just got a giant room they can make the most of. What's really cool is if you come back here, we've got a bonus bathroom. So now we're talking about a four bedroom, two bath house. Again, gonna go ahead and list this one because the market is hot, guys. As you can see, we had a little bit of fun making that video walking through the property. Uh, we did sell the property and I'm gonna pull up uh, the most recent Zillow on this property. We sold the property for 139.9 and it looks like it was on the market for 64 days. Uh, that's time on Zillow from that's the time in which we listed it to the time in which it actually closed. This hasn't updated completely, but as you can see, we did stage the property 
and we did put uh, some love into getting it sold. So to recap on this particular deal, we bought it. We bought it for uh, 65 and some change. We rehabbed it and we borrowed that money from our private lender. Um, we rehabbed it and then we rented it out and we maybe left about two grand in it at refi. So then we refinanced it. That's the burst strategy. It allows you to pick up properties uh, with little to none of your own money. So in this case, we had a little, we had a couple grand, but we cash flowed on it for two and a half years. So that probably paid us back the couple grand that we had in it. And then we just sold it last week. And I'm going to drop a picture in right here of the closing HUD. And this is uh, the HUD that we got when we closed on the property. And it looks like the property sold $139,900. So we actually got full asking for this property. I'm going to drop the HUD of the closing right here. Boom. You'll notice that due to seller is $49,362.83. We got to keep $35,000 of that. Some of that went to pay back uh, the money that we used to stage the property, the sales commissions that we owed the uh, agents who helped us sell the property, as well as some of the bills on the property like taxes, uh, and so on and so forth. So our net profit on this was actually around $35,000. $49,362.83 was the net proceeds. But again, we had some expenses in holding costs and actually selling the property. And then of course, commissions and some past due bills. So we ended up netting $35,000 on this property that we basically got for free. I hope you guys enjoyed this case study today. We're gonna have more of them. Coming up.